Abraham Rapoon represents Unity Christian with the number 24 and his notable stats as a senior running back. But his journey to get to this point is one far beyond a football field. It began thousands of miles away. I'm from the West Africa, uh, a country, a small country called Liberia. And um, me and my little sister were adopted uh, about 10 years ago. They lost both of their parents and lived in a home with other orphans, sleeping on the ground. People constantly say to us, oh, you've done so much and, you, you know, like you've changed their lives. And people just can't understand that it's not like they have changed our lives. Tammy first heard about Abraham and his sister while at a Bible study group. And I said, get them here from where? And she said, West Africa. And I said, I have a domestic foster care license. That's what, And she's like, well, you need to pray about it because I think they're supposed to be with your family. She ended up making the trip to Africa. And after just spending 12 days there, she brought them home. I mean, being someplace like that changes you. It can't not. And um, there's no way to put into words going to find them and, and falling in love with kids that you've never seen or touched in your life. They still have three siblings there, one of whom passed away due to lack of medical care. But despite all they've been through, they still had a light inside of them that couldn't be dimmed. They both came and they grinned from ear to ear constantly. Even when we were there, there was so much joy inside of them. And it wasn't because of what they had. It was just because of what was inside them. It just, it just exuded from both of them, the joy. And a part of that is feeling called to do more. I always have on my heart um, to always try to find something I can do to help others to give, uh, back. give back, especially from uh, my community of uh, Af in Africa. Um, so I definitely have that on my heart for sure. Education is a privilege, not a right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you have to have money to be able to go to school there. They helped establish Gifts of Hope School, a K through four school for children who otherwise would not have the chance to attend. The learning there's um, it's more of a they try to instill the uh, lessons through uh, physical abuse. So they will tell you, oh, spell apple, and you don't if you don't know how to spell apple they would give you lashes. We pay the teachers instead of sponsoring students. We try to keep the best educated teachers that we can in the school. That's just something that's always been in me to try to help change. And also at the school, they help the community teach them how to uh, grow food or how to uh, like the farming there, just teaching them uh, different uh, things. When Abraham thinks about how different his life was just 10 years ago, it's hard to put into words. When I first came here, I was and under, starting to understand, especially like the education system, I'm like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> how am I going to go through uh, all this? Like, what do you mean I have to read this book? And, Lots of tears. Yeah, so many years of tears. And now I, just, I can't believe that I'm about to graduate this year. And it's just so uh, crazy to me. And for those whose lives have been touched by their story, they can't wait to see how the rest unfolds. I don't know what my life was before them, you know? And I think that God has a plan for each one of us. That's so much bigger than we can even begin to understand. And God is so good. And he has amazing plans for both of these kiddos. And um, I just am so thankful that I get a front row seat to watch it unfold. That was our Deanna Falzone reporting. There will be a fundraiser for the school on January 27th at the Pinnacle Center in Hudsonville, and Abraham will be speaking that night. They're hoping to add more classrooms and grades, and the school also has a med center. Now, to find out if you can donate or sponsor a table, we will have a link on our story at fox17online.com.